Hello guys, I'm excited to bring you another recipe and this one is going to be spicy very spicy now I didn't realize until I just was going through this I got the extra hot horseradish so if I'm crying by the end of this you'll know why I did not mean to get extra spicy okay so if you like spicy foods leave a little fire emoji in the comments okay all right, so this is the roast beef and water crust sandwich. It has four points. It's this recipe serves four, and the calories is 270 calories for a sandwich. And I'll leave all the information in the comments below. Okay, I mean the description below. So I'm gonna go over the ingredients. So. Sour cream, horseradish, spicy mustard, salt and pepper, um, two, uh, two cups of lightly trimmed, oh, that would be the watercress. I couldn't find watercress, so I'm using spinach. Um, eight slices, eight slices of high fiber bread, which I found this 35 calorie bread at my store and it's 100% whole wheat. I'm going to be using that. That's actually one point for a piece of bread. Um, deli roast beef cut very thinly. I got my roast beef and one large tomato, which I had two small tomatoes. So I just cut those up really thin. All right, so that is all the ingredients that we are going to need for this recipe. So let's start by making the, the sauce. So combine the sour cream. So we need oops, three tablespoons of light sour cream. I hope it fits in here, but we'll see. So there's one. Yeah, come on, one. There's three. Ten. This is looking pretty good it all right on. Um, horseradish. I don't know if I, maybe I should just add half of this. <sighs> Let's see how hot we're gonna get this. Okay, we'll just add that much, which was all of it. And let's see, mustard. Mustard is one tablespoon, and the horseradish was one tablespoon. So I love spicy mustard. So good, though. There's extra squeeze. Okay. Okay, so. Now the salt and pepper, which is one eighth of each. Okay, one. And one. Easy smeezy. Okay, so let's go ahead and stir our little sauce that we just made. Okay. Hope you can see that. It smells spicy, guys. I'm kind of afraid. Okay. Okay, this is gonna go evenly on four slices of bread. So, okay, let's put my finger in there and hope I don't die from heat. So, let's see. Mm, that's really good. If you like mustard, it's not really that spicy as I thought it'd be. 
there's a kick. Okay. That is good, especially since I'm not a big fan of mayo. So, sour cream, I like better. So. Okay, that's yummy. Alright. Okay, let's get our bread. Make sure you can see. Sorry. What's that? Oh, sour cream. Okay. Some bread on there. Okay. Let's just set this aside. Shut your bread back up. Okay, and we're gonna divide this evenly over four sandwiches. So I'm guessing like two slices or so. This stuff looks yummy. Okay. So look at that. Yum. Okay, we'll put that much. Okay, that's about good. I would say. Okay. Now we're going to spread this evenly over here real quick before I forget. So just take about that much. Look at that. There we go. My finger. We're going to take tomato. I love tomatoes, so I'm just evenly put, I'm just going to put it like that. There we go. Voila. You're going to take your spinach. I like to crumple mine up. Just lay a bed of spinach okay now we are gonna top that with our bread it's gonna be a nice lunch shut down okay there's a sandwich but now I gotta cut it get a knife here's my pink one Okay, we can cut it like this or like that, but it would be fancy. Okay, now look at that, girls and boys. Okay, yummy. Tastes really good. Okay, I'm gonna bring you a little bit closer. So. Look at that amazingness. Stop around so I can get a good thumbnail. Okay. I'm gonna prop it up a little bit. Like so. Now that looks so bad. Okay, we'll just do it like that. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. I'm gonna try it for you. So take a bite on this here. Mm. Mm -hmm. Take another bite. It's really good. You know what? This isn't even that spicy at all. So, I don't know if they lied with this extra hot, but I'm not even really getting that much heat at all. Weird. Anyway, 
It's super good if you like sandwiches. It'd pro this sauce would probably be good on any kind of sandwich, really. Alright guys, so thanks for watching. And my next um, recipe will probably be tacos. Because I bought some stuff for tacos. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for other types of videos too. I'm going to be doing other videos other than always recipes too. So, alright guys, thanks for watching. Have a good day.